So here we have our project with a single INO file in, standard Arduino project. And if we right click the project and go to the add menu, we can see the additional visual micro options at the bottom, but we're going to use the new item prompt here. So you get the same options where we could add an INO and at the bottom you can change the name of the file it will create as well as where it will go. Now for INO files they just go in the root of the project next to your current INO. If we add a function to that INO just so we can see how this would work you just have to add the function and then you can call it without any additional includes in your main sketch. So the standard INO functionality for Arduino. You can add multiple INOs if you wish. And we'll put them all in the root of our project. So if we switch to folder view, we can now see that in our project, in the root, we've got our sketch code and our adding project code, which is the name of our project. There's an additional source folder with the Arduino folders readme.txt file. This explains the detail of the folder structures available. So if we go back to our solution view, we could now add some further code. So again, we'll go new item. And if we go Arduino CPP and H, this will add some C++ code and the accompanying H file to our project. And we can rename those files together with the name here, obviously without an extension. We can also choose where to put them, but for now, we'll just add these to the root of our project as well. Now when adding CPP or, or C files, you will also need to define the code in your H on the CPP, as well as do an include in your Arduino code for that file. So now I've included the H, we could go add a bit of code just so we can see how that would work as well so if we just put a simple function definition in and go back to our main ino file again now we've included it we can simply call that function We switch to the folder view again we can see that this has gone into the root of our project next to our INO files. Now you may end up with name conflicts or, or further problems with all your code in the root hence the reason for the source folder existing. So here we could add a new item again a CPP file but this time we'll put it into the source folder so that it it's separate from the root of our project. So we'll need to update the location that this file will be created in to the SRC folder. And again, simply press add. And if we look in the folder view, you can see that that's gone inside of the source folder for us. Now, Obviously, we'll need to use our include to include the CPP code. We'll need to remember that it's beneath the source folder. Finally, if again you want to have more structure, you can add subfolders to the source folder. And this will allow us to separate our, our source code out further and all folders and subfolders beneath the source folder are usable with Visual Micro. So we'll add our new folder, split source code and we'll add our files within that folder. There we go. So again, we'll need to add our include. And we can 
continue adding more folders, more depth, more CPP and H files, which gives us a lot more power to organize our code, avoid conflicts with names, so forth, and be able to build some very complex projects with C++ and C for our Arduino. Finally, there's also a class template. So if we go and add our new class, I'll just put this back into our project route for now. Again, this will create a CPP and H file, but now it will automatically build some boilerplate code as well for our class. So we can include our new class H file. And at the bottom, we can also see there's an extra declaration that needs completing. So if you were going to use this class with multiple instances, we could change this code, but as we're here, going to just use the the standard singleton class. So here at the bottom of the H file, you'll see this extern statement. If you just add in the name you wish to give to that class. So here we'll call it Psi. This, because it's declared extern, can now be used anywhere in your code just by typing si dot and now we can access its functions so again you can quickly create classes and various other data structures within your code on the click of a button